Welcome back. Hope you're enjoying this spring into spring event courtesy of unitrainus.com. Thanks so much for sending in all this great test gear. Today in the spotlight, we're looking at another fantastic Unity Bench test instrument. Unity UDP 3305S programmable DC power supply extraordinaire. And make no mistake, this one is a big boy. It's huge. Make no mistake about it, this is definitely a big piece of test bench equipment. The Unity UDP 3305S is going to need a space of its own because you're definitely not going to be taking this off of the bench. You know, I'm not one of these guys to carry around a scale and weigh my test instruments, but man oh man, in this case, I am really curious. Okay, let's do a little bit of a weigh in here. I don't normally do this, like I said, but I just couldn't resist. Okay, here we go. Oh. 10.8 kilos. That's about 24 pounds. Whew, this is definitely heavy. Programmable DC power supply ships in a rather big box. And in that box, a couple of things. Of course, you get your AC power cord and you get your USB out to connect it to your computer uh, via the software. You don't get a user manual. Uh, once again, you have to download it from the Unity website. Uh, but that being said, it should not be a big deal. And finally, you get your certificate of calibration. Yes, proving that the Unitrend device test instrument, the UDP 3305S, has passed all of the uh, checks and requirements. So you know you're getting a piece of gear which has not just left the factory, but it's also been tested before it's left the factory. Uh, calibration due dates are all uh, there. And uh, you know what? End of day, hey, it's looking good. And size-wise for the test bench, if you put the UDP 305S up against uh, another couple of great Unity power supplies, 1306 and the 3315, wow, it just dwarfs them. Makes them look like nothing. Taking a look at the back of the unit right now, in here we have our standard RS-232 communication interface, as well as an Ethernet interface over here, digital I.O., master and slave USB interfaces, which can be controlled by remote connection via Ethernet or through the RS-232 and USB. Um, so lots of connectivity options. And no matter where you are in the world, you can still take this home and power it up without any worries. We have our AC selection over here from 100 volts up to 230 volts. Excellent. We also have a lot of passive cooling here on both sides of the unit, which is awesome. <laughs> Just one thing I want to point out. Scared the bejesus out of me initially uh, when I was moving this from one bench to another. Of course, you're holding it by the handle. At least you hope you are. And, and I mean, it's like that, right? So you, you put it down. Wait for it. Yeah, whoa, that thing is loud. Scared the heck out of me the first time. I thought like, what was that? So for whatever reason, I guess there's so much tension on this handle that uh, it can make a wallop of a noise uh, when it reseats itself. Whoa. Let's turn on the power supply now, greeted with that Unity logo and wow, that is fast. What, about a second and we are in the main control setup. That is just really great boot up time. Something else I really like with this unit is the fact that it is very quiet, very quiet. No word of a lie, it's 100% quieter than the 3315 uh, power supply I was comparing it to a little earlier. So this is an amazingly silent unit considering just how powerful it is. When you turn on the unit, you're immediately greeted with that awesome looking 4.3 inch high definition display screen. Verbosity as well with that main display. It can display the current set output voltage, the current actual output voltage current and protection output voltage current value of the power supply in real time. Uh, it's a super simple interface, I think, and it's very, very intuitive. 
Another nice option as well is the fact you have one button, one button for series and parallel. Uh, the connection between channel one and channel two of uh, the main channels can be used without external connections. It makes it super simple and you can combine both channels for increased current or voltage depending on your needs. It's serial mode and you can tell I've combined channels one and channel two for a 66 volts or 10.4 amps. It's up to me what I want to use. Cool feature is that list and delayer function. So with this, we can list or delay settings. It can set up to 2,048 sets of data, uh, depending on what you need. And the number of cycles can reach 100,000. Uh, you can use this with waveform templates, etc. So very, very powerful. And speaking of waves, let's click on that wave selection. And uh, you can see we have all of those wave outputs here that will show up as soon as we start streaming some current or voltage. Uh, let's set it up for voltage right now. And I'll output to channel one, turn the channel on. And at the same time, you can see that waveform coming up as well, giving us the output of that voltage uh, nice and clean thus far. See, right now I have it in serial mode, so I'm going to take out the ground from channel one and I'm gonna stick it into channel two and that will synchronize. So now we're gonna get that dual combined voltage output. So 64 volts coming up and showing up as 64.003, hey, hey, spot on. Does it get better than that? And once again, this is so quiet. It is such a pleasure to work with. Of course, you also have the ability to save with our storage mode, 10 different storage states to save into, choices up to yours. When you want one you want to save, just click on the storage. Three sets of channel outputs on the front. Channel one and two are both five amps. Um, and you can parallel that for up to 10 amps of output. Also, they seem to have uh, internal relays uh, for parallel and series, which is really, really impressive. Channel three also has a separate um, prefixed voltage output. So 1.8, 2.5, 3.3, .3, and five volts respectively. Sitting at 1.8 right now, 2.5, 3.3, and 5 volts, so all according to spec. According to the main display right now, we are on channel 3 at 5 Here is volts. our waveform display as well. If you don't want that waveform display, just click on it here. Click back on your channel, and we're good to go. And if you want the full screen, just click on the normal tab. And there you go. So you have lots of different uh, display uh, angles or views rather uh, that give you all the information you want. Once again, this LCD display, it is beautiful uh, because I have a lot of lights here in the studio. It's a little bit of glare going on, but that being said, it's still managing all that glare really, really well and uh, stunning, just stunning on the eyes. Great choice of colors and contrast. And I really like the font. Alrighty, let's do a little mini voltage showdown. I've got the Fluke 87.5 up against the UT117C, one of my favorite meters. And here we go, sitting at 1.000 volts, and both meters are coming in at 0.9992. Interesting. Let's take it up to 5.000. And there we go with Unity, 5.00. And the Fluke 4.99, hey, very, very close. Up to 10 volts, 10 volts. 9.99 and 9.998. Check it out. 20 volts. And look at that again. They are just short by a count. And I've got this right now in serial mode. So we're going to go up to 60 plus volts. Sitting at 30 volts right now. And look at that Unity. 30 volts. Spot on. Up and away. 50 volts. 50.000, 50.002 for the Unity, 49.99 for the Fluke. Let's max it out right now at 66 volts. You can see maximum voltage uh, air coming up, 66 even. And look at that Unity spot on. Mr. Fluke, you're not far behind. It's 65.99, one count out. Awesome. Once again, with that main screen panel, we have all of our options, just a touch away. Adjusting current as simple as pressing the button and changing it accordingly with those arrows and select knob. Right now we're set to one channel, so our maximum output is 5.2. 
over voltage protection, over current protection, and a zoom mode as well, where you can get more information on other parts of the device going on. So it, it, it's very, very verbose and super easy to use. Love it. Something else I like is the way Unity labeled those outputs. 0 to 30 volts, 5 amp master for channel 1, channel 2, 0 to 30 volts, 5 amp slave. So yeah, it's always good to have the manual close by, but if you don't, it's still very easy to use because it's labeled properly. Output voltage on that USB port in the front, a solid 5.0 volts. Just to give you an indicator of how quiet this power supply is, it is silent, AKA me shutting my mouth, is 39.7 decibels. Now I'm gonna turn on that power supply and let's see what it is. So it makes no sense. It was actually quieter with the power supply turned on. Okay, I think there was an error in that initial test, but it was definitely around the 37, 38 decibel mark uh, with silence. So you can see this is a quiet power supply. Oh, what a relief. And by the way, just take note, it is really truly a three channel power supply. For some reason, they've labeled, labeled the uh, USB out as channel four. But really, that's just a generic USB 5 volt 2 amp output. It's nothing to write home about. Uh, it's not really a separate channel per se. There's nothing going on there. It's not linear. Uh, so I'm not sure why they label it as a channel for it. But anyway, it is what it is. Closing thoughts on the Unity UDP 3305S programmable DC power supply. Oh, I love it. This is one great power supply. I've been using a Siglent for the longest time and this will replace it as my go-to. It's just super accurate and oh, so simple to use. That graphical user interface is very intuitive and the learning curve is basically nil. Accuracy on the voltages looks very, very good. And I didn't see any overshoot as well when I was uh, activating an output with a load that was going. So mm, that's a good thing. The build quality with Unity here is top notch. This is a professional test instrument and it sure as heck feels and performs right, so like one. It's around $499 Canadian, about $399 or so US dollars. But hey, don't quote me quote unitrainus.com go to the website if you want more info if you want to purchase one of these excellent power supplies they will have all the details and set you up do i have anything negative to say not a whole lot as always it's a big unit so you want to make sure you have the space to put it but how can that be a negative i mean hey it's a benchtop power supply the unity udp 3305s programmable dc power supply extraordinaire gets a solid four out of five stars. Oh yes, this has quickly become a favorite of mine. The combination of silence and performance is truly hard to beat. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one, keep on testing.